Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. And I wanted to come out here and talk about this story that's coming from our first favorite state, wretched ass Florida. This story is a straight up trip. I couldn't make up this shit if you paid me, okay? So what's going down is that once again in our beautiful sunshine state, there is a deputy named Deputy Dean Zips, and he was fired at the end of April for basically trying to act like he was the white overweight version of Alonzo Harris. And for those of you guys who don't know who Alonzo Harris is, Alonzo Harris is the character that Denzel Washington played in Training Day. Well, this man must have watched too much Training Day on damn Netflix because he decided to take on the persona of Alonzo Harris and he was going around quoting the movie, pulling out guns, just doing all types of shit. Rumor has it that he would walk up to individuals and he'd just be like, hey, 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 you want to go to jail or you want to go home? And then he'd also say stupid shit like, who the fuck do you think you're fucking with? I'm the police. I run shit here. You just live here. King Kong ain't got shit on me. <laughs> Okay, maybe I'm watching too much damn training day, okay? Anyways, y'all, y'all go ahead and check out this news clip. All I can do is shake my head. Check out this foolishness. I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. This dash camera video shows Lake County Deputy Dean Zipes, February 16th, pulling his department-issued pistol and taser and appearing to rub them together. Documents from the sheriff's internal investigation say Zipes was swinging his arms in a crisscross manner and quoting lines from the Denzel Washington film Training Day. At one point, documents indicate Zipes was pointing the weapons in the direction of a nearby convenience store. Deputies say the incident happened in the presence of a trainee to whom Zipes later made inappropriate comments. Zipes allegedly admitted to the conduct shown in the dash camera video and later said in an email, according to investigators, he meant nothing malicious. He was just trying to lighten the mood and, he said, be the center of attention. According to the disciplinary report, just a month previous to this incident, Zipes was involved in another episode where he acted as if he was pulling the gun out of his holster in a joking manner. On top of that, investigators say Zipes also admitted to using racial slurs on duty. For all of those violations, conduct on becoming an officer, harassment through the use of offensive racial comments, flagrant or repeated violations of office rules, and violation of the on-duty use of a firearm, Zipes was fired on April 21st. I'm Bob Keeling, West U News reporting. All right, so you guys just saw that crazy ass news clip. And rumor has it that when he got fired, he went off on his fellow officers like this. Check this out. Wait a minute. No, you di You disloyal, fool ass, bitch made punk. Jay! You think you can do this to me? You motherfuckers will be playing basketball in Pelican Bay when I get finished with you. You'll never see the light of day. Who the fuck you think you fucking with? I'm the police. I run shit here. You just live here. All right, y'all just saw that clip. So all jokes and all bullshit aside, this is what happens when fantasy collides with reality. You know, this is insane to me. So many times we get on all these Florida criminals, how they're not living in the real world and how they're just out here doing stupid shit. And we're always talking about Ratchet Florida. But it also says a lot when you have a police deputy also involved in fuckery like this. And kudos to the department for getting rid of him. You know, this is not somebody they need on their roster. He also admitted to saying a lot of racial slurs and just doing a lot of just a bunch of just stupid extra stuff. And, you know, even though the situation seems funny, it can also be disturbing because if he's taking on this persona, who's to say that he's not making up false allegations on people, you know, putting drugs on people, getting people in trouble who may not deserve it so I'm really glad that the department did what they needed to do and they got rid of him because if he can pull out a gun like that and wave it around that's not only immature as hell but it's also very reckless you know another officer could have lost their life an innocent person could have lost their life so it's obvious his actions were not condoned by his fellow deputies and I'm glad that they didn't do the whole blue wall of silence I'm glad that they turned him in I'm glad they turned him in and they reported his behavior and I'm glad that the department stepped up and did their job by getting rid of this man this whole situation is just a hot damn mess he needs to be embarrassed you know what I'm saying instead of being your own self instead of being who God made you you want to take on the persona of a crooked cop like really sir really anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire ratchet ass situation honey that's once again coming from our first favorite state 
ratchet ass Florida. Go on ahead and cut out Florida bugs. This story is just ratchet as all get out. All right, talk to y'all later. Deuces. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.